Hey guys, Lifted for Life here, bringing you guys a brand new video. So, hey, a lot of you guys have been wanting a uh, room tour kind of video, showing off my collection and everything. So I thought, why not do it finally? I've been pushing it off mostly because of the simple fact that I have a buttload of figures that are stuck in a warehouse in Japan right now. Because Good Smile is the only freaking company of auto to uh, toy. Well, I guess they are toys, but figure. Um, retail shops online that has not offered any sort of alternative shipping method so I've got a bunch stuck in Japan uh, between stuff that I ordered just before everything shut down and also stuff that's been on pre-order and it's making me worried because I got a bunch of stuff coming out in the next few months that I really want to have my hands on and I'm worried about not getting to have them probably within the year there's uh, I'm starting to genuinely worry that like we might not get any of that stuff uh, that Japan Post might not start shipping to America again till probably next year and that is something that uh, terrifies me. So I've been pushing this off but I've, a lot of you guys have been asking about it. I've gotten several requests on my uh, video talking about why I collect figures and here we are finally to show off my figure collection and also the rest of my room because I got it's going to be impossible to show off just my collection of also showing off my awesome anime and video game collection so consider this a bit of a room tour video. I did one of these for my main channel and my uh, chaotic channel a while back but I haven't done one dedicated to just my figures and I've gotten a lot of figures since then so let's go ahead and start off with over here where I just mainly have this is my newest figure and the last one I'm going to get for a while, this is Noir from Hyperdimension Neptunia. I forget the name of the uh, figure manufacturer um, off the top of my head. But this is a one-fifth scale that I've been eyeing for a while. And Otaku Mode had it on sale for about half off. And I finally caved. I really shouldn't have. There's a bunch of other stuff I really want and also stuff that I need. But I caved and got her because half off. Like, holy crap, she was under a hundred bucks, and that was pretty good for the price. Base is a bit lackluster, but I still love her a lot. Noir is awesome, and it's about time I got a figure of her that isn't super small. <clears throat> then we got my anime collection here. Sorry if my room's a bit messy. I've cleaned it up a lot and all that, but not much else. So there's most of my anime here on this shelf. I do have more anime in a drawer that, we're gonna have to, that I'm going to have to like pop open and show you. We have my water, got the Chinubio limited edition, got my PS3 game collection here, and PS4. I'm a big Sony guy, as you guys know, or at least I used to be. Not going to be getting the PS5 for a long while, that's for sure. Then we got these figures up here. We got <clears throat> good old Dizzy uh, from Guilty Gear. One of my favorite fighting games ever, and also Dizzy's one of my favorite waifus in general. She's just an awesome character. Uh, <laughs> My, my camera decided to focus on Undyne's uh, chest over here for some reason. That was weird. But uh, yeah, Dizzy, I got her at uh, Anime St. Louis last year. Absolutely fantastic figure here. I'm so happy I got her. She was like a good bit cheaper than she is online uh, that I managed to get her at too, which is great. Then we got Akagi uh, from good old Azure Lane. I love Azure Lane. It's one of my favorite mobile games. I had to get a figure of Azure Lane. And I was really wanting to get the Prince Eugen figure that comes out. I mean, originally it was supposed to come out like back in April, but it's been pushed back to July now. Um, and even that might get pushed back. So I, because Prince Eugen is my favorite. And then we got Unicorn who just got announced a figure and it's adorable. But I'm going to stick with Akagi for now. I'll get the others later. Hopefully eventually. Got a little Godzilla toy that I got as a kid. It's not a figure, but I mean, I still put it up with my figure stuff. Then we got Charlotte from uh, good old Infinite Stratos. Uh, back when I was in middle school, it was one of my favorite harem anime out there. Uh, I never did see season two, but I really love Charlotte. She's still one of my favorite characters um, in a harem series, and I really like her design and everything. I do want to eventually get her freeing bunny, although I think she's actually got a poodle version or something. Uh, apparently there's a dream sequence or something in like season two where they get like dressed up as poodles and cats or something. I don't know. I haven't seen season two. I own it, but I've been too lazy to watch it. Partly because I need to rewatch season one. But this is the, um, I want to say it's four leaves. Yeah, this is four leaves. I don't know how to get the rabbits that come with it to stick on her, so I don't bother with it. 
Then we got Kurumu from Rosario Vampire. Rosario Vampire is one of my favorite mangas out there, and I just had to get a figure of one of the characters from it. Unfortunately, uh, a lot of them are expensive. Um, way more expensive than I want to sell out the money for, especially in Misere, who I really want a figure of, but that's just not going to happen for a while, because her only figure that I know of uh, was a uh, f like winter festival exclusive, and you're lucky to find it under 500 from what I've seen, which is more than I'm willing to pay for a like one seventh scale. It does have a lot of detail though, but I am pushing it off. This career move figure is nice though. It's a cast off. Obviously, I'm not going to take it off, but it's still something pretty nice. Then we got Cosmos from Xeno Saga. I've been kind of inching my way through Xeno Saga 1. I want to get through Xeno Saga 2 and 3 eventually. Um, I actually do have 2. I still need to pick up 3 eventually, but I'm going to want to wait until I actually do beat 2. Probably because I've been pushing off beating 1 so long. Um, but yeah, uh, Cosmos, I really love her design, and I just had to get her swimsuit uh, figure. I do want to get a figure of her in her regular design eventually, but it's going to be pushed off for a while. Um, I just love this swimsuit design. It's so pretty. Like, holy crap. Uh, figure is awesome, too. It's one of my tallest. It's crazy. Going from tall to small, we got this little uh, Neptune uh, stand thing. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. It's actually a USB drive. I can pop off her head, and it's got a USB thing in it, but I just mean use it as, like, a figure. Then we got um, Yumi from Sinran Kagura, a series I'm still a bit iffy on. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I do like Peach Beast Flash a lot, though, but it's, eh, it's, it, I just get bored of the gameplay so fast. Uh, Dynasty Warriors, that's games bore me to uh, tears. Then we got some Bionicles. They're my only two that I have put together at the moment. Vazan and I forget this guy's name. Um, I really want to get around to like finding the instruction booklets online and putting all my old Bionicles back together when I, one of these days. Because I was a big Bionicle kid. I loved Bionicles. I actually had all of the um, uh, um, Spider Guys, I think is what they were. I can't remember. Uh, Viserac or something like that. I can't remember. But anyway, so switching over here. Got my PS4 on because I was playing Monster Hunter earlier. I uh, got a wonderful, that time I got reincarnated slime. By the way, I, I know everybody hates Crunchyroll, I do too, but like one of the best things about them on PS4 actually is that they let you actually screenshot stuff, which is hilarious. Uh, Netflix doesn't let you do that, which sucks, otherwise my background would be a Devil May Cry Baby background right now, but I digress. Over here we got uh, two of my, pri actually three of my Pride of Joys. Um, this was my first Hatsune Miku figure. Uh, but, however, not very much to say about her, really much other than she's adorable. Uh, but, the big ones I want to talk about here are my Chibi Vampire figures. Chibi Vampire was the manga that got me into all this stuff. <laughs> I remember seeing it at my school library, thinking, oh, that looks interesting. What's up with these comic books going the wrong way? So, I just grabbed one that looked like it was uh, kind of interesting in the sense of, like, what it said on the back and everything, and I fell in love with it. Chibi Vampire is still one of my favorite mangas. I love the anime, even though the anime does have issues. And I really want to read the author, uh, Yuna, Kage uh, Yuna Kagasaki's other manga, Ion. But however, due to uh, Tokyo Pop going under, uh, Ion only ever had the first three volumes printed in English, and I don't think it's ever going to get picked up again by another distributor, which sucks. Uh, I would love to be able to actually read it and own it and stuff. Probably gonna have to read a scanlation of it. But these are the only three Chibi Vampire figures out there. I have checked, and they're the only ones listed on my figure collection. These two are Gachapon figures. I paid way too much money for them. Uh, $15 each, which, for how small they are... <coughs> pardon me, I have horrible allergies, so... For how small they are, it was a bad price, but I really want th these. The characters, this manga, the series mean so much to me, so I just had to pick them up. And considering there's only three figures, these little Gachapon figures, as bad quality as they are, they're really old. Um, they're hard to find. I managed to get them for a like deal with like thirty dollars total on eBay. And I got the uh, Karen figure, uh, that's her name, Karen. It's also called Karen, so like if anyone wants the anime, it's called Karen, because um, named after her. But when Tokyo Pop brought it over, they changed the name because there was some other manga that had the name Karen or something um, to Chibi Vampire. So, <laughs> very weird. 
Uh, but then I got this Karen figure. This was released in a limited edition or special edition, whatever you want to call it, of uh, volume six of the manga in Japan. And uh, unfortunately, we never got it over here, so I had an importer. Uh, thankfully, it wasn't too expensive at the time. I think I paid like $10 for it. Uh, also got the manga, too, <laughs> and, a, and a little box that all came in. It's pretty cool, so uh, that is something really nice. But this means so much to me. It's I wish there was more of everything with this series. I love this series so much. I really need to uh, get around to requesting some artists to make Karen art because there's no art made of her. <laughs> uh, the last time that there was any art uploaded onto uh, Danbro of the series was when Kagasaki drew a picture of uh, Karen for like, the anniversary of the series, which is really sad just to show how forgotten this series is. Uh, I, I really love these kind of forgotten classics. I'm thinking about doing a series talk about forgotten classic anime, manga, and all that stuff. Moving on over here, we got Juliana. Um, I forgot her last name from one of the Valkyria uh, Pro. I uh, know Valkyria Chronicles, not Valkyria Profile. Getting too serious mixed up. Uh, Valkyria Chronicles uh, spinoffs. I believe it was the mobile game or something. Uh, I don't really care for the character too much, but I really like Valkyria Chronicles, uh, Valkyria Chronicles 1, um, I haven't played 2 or 3, but I love 1 and 4, I need to get around to playing 2 and 3 eventually, there's some, like, 1 and 4, honestly, some of the best RPGs out there, in my opinion, at least, great story, great characters, Juliana was released alongside a Silveria, um, Christmas bunny version, just like, actually, no, Silveria got a Christmas deer, um, Juliana got a Christmas bunny version, uh, she, she looks anorexic. <laughs> that was my first re reaction to seeing this figure. Uh, it, it's crazy, but I do like her. The design is great. Uh, if maybe she could use a little bit more skin. Uh, but however, I digress. Adorable figure. Uh, great design overall. I really need to get, um, Silvaria eventually. But if you ever see these on eBay, they are way overpriced. I managed to get this for 120 but you can typically find it for upwards of 400 to 500 uh, Even higher for Silvaria because she's a much more... She's like the series mascot. <laughs> um, and that it's just insane. Um, so I do not recommend going for that. Just put them on your list list on my figure collection and wait for them to pop up on there. You can find them for way cheaper. Over here we got... Probably the holy grail of uh, Persona figures, and that is good old Makoto on her bike, Johanna. Um, I'm very mixed on this figure, I'm not going to lie. I think I talked about it um, a bit whenever I did my uh, wide bike collect figure video. But this figure, <laughs> I am still very mixed on. It's a beautiful figure once you get it all put together and everything, but the bike... It's so poorly put together. Um, you so much to sneeze on it and it's gonna like fall apart. So I'm like super nervous with it. I'm genuinely considering selling it because it doesn't feel. It's the first ever figure I haven't, I didn't feel happy buying uh, once I got it and everything. I was really expecting more, especially for the price this thing runs. It's uh, actually the most expensive figure I've ever gotten, and it's it's ridiculous. It is a beautiful figure though. The design, the s everything, the pose. Makoto's cute. I really want to get another figure of her one of these days. Um, as well as also Crow, um, but I digress. Still, really good figure overall. Moving on, my Black Rock Shooter, Wall Scroll. I shut my door because I forgot how messed up my closet is, so I'll just ignore it. Got over here, my Dark Magician Girl figure. One of my first figures I ever got growing up. Love it. I <laughs> love Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, as we go through my for the rest of my uh, room, we're going to see lots of cards everywhere. Got my good old Rhea Scrimmery figure. Um, one of only two figures of her I got. I actually do have her bunny figure coming in. Should be here around early August because it's taking snail mail, which sucks, but oh well. And we got, <laughs> uh, if anybody knows what she's from, you're, you, yeah, I... I yeah, I'm a degenerate. I don't care at this point. Uh, this is Lily from a um, Arrow series called Tentacles and Witches. It was uh, the first ever of that kind of series I ever saw. <laughs> Way back in middle school. Um, actually, probably, yeah, it was early middle schoolish. 
Uh, then we got Purple Heart, uh, her angel form uh, from Four Goddesses Online. I absolutely love this figure. I actually ordered it in the middle of class because I knew it was going to sell out super fast. Because uh, Idea Factory, I, this is like the only um, Neptunia figure that's gotten a official release over here. Um, not counting like ordering from a like, good smile or anything. And I really want to get the Noir one to go with her, but that's going to have to wait a long while. This is still one of my absolute favorite figures in my collection. It's a beautiful design. Purple Heart's a great character. And I just love her to death. Uh, although my personal favorite's uh, IF, but she doesn't have a figure yet for some reason. Then we got the Tales of Berseria figures that came with the Tales of Berseria limited collection, uh, limited edition. I love limited editions and I love Tales, so I had to pick it up. Uh, Velvet and Laffy set both look great here. I still need to go back and finish the game. I never did. Uh. <laughs> Moving on down, we got my favorite shelf. Uh, all my Millums. I love Millums. She's my favorite character, like, period, in anime. And <laughs> I, I've been making an active effort to pick up all of her figures as much as I can. There's a couple I'm not getting, uh, partly for pricing and partly for... Uh, the fact that they just aren't good, uh, to, they, they just got two more, uh, she just got two more from Q Pocket revealed, um, that was, they're garbage looking, the face is ugly and, uh, uh there's also a garage kit that I'm not gonna get cause I suck at putting together stuff, but if I could find a full one, oh my god, I'd love to get it, like a complete one. And then I do have her bunny figure on pre-order, and I'm waiting for that other bunny figure to get released. I mean, put up for pre-order as well, so I can order that as well. Because, again, Milam is my favorite of my favorite waifus. Um, for my favorite figures over here, it's probably going to be the Whiff fans or the other Korea. Ma mm, uh, I forgot. Oh, yeah, Mega House uh, figure, because those are the two biggest and best looking ones in terms of detailing and everything. I love the Wolf Fans one because it was the first figure of hers I got, and it's just adorable. Sure, it's a pretty standard look at my butt pose, but it's adorable. I love it. It fits her character. And then this one, the, the Kriya one, is just a lot bigger. It's a uh, more dynamic pose. It's something a bit more action-y, so I, I, I just love it. I have no idea where I'm going to put her. <laughs> I, I, I can't wait to get some new shelves and be able to put all of them along with the new bunny figure coming out next year. I mean, not next year, next month uh, together with it. Down here, oh yeah, also my manga collection. Just some cool stuff. There's my chibi vampire collection. Got all the volumes of manga. I thought about toying around with getting the novels and my dog is yelling at me. I will have to pick this up in part two. Anyway, so, sorry about that abrupt cut. My dog was yelling at me. She, uh, was wanting a treat. Anyway, so, yeah, my manga collection is up here. Got Ancient Manga's Bride. I absolutely love that series. Need to get around to get in the, uh, one of the figures eventually. But they're expensive. They're really big, intricate ones. Uh, of course, Chibi Vampire, Devil Man. I love Devil Man. <laughs> and moving on down here, we got... Of course, more Devil Man, Kitty Honey. Very mixed on Kitty Honey. I needed to get around to do a video about that. Uh, then, of course, also, actually, to the figures, we got my other three Nendos. Of course, I have my Milum Nendo with the other Milums, but I do have three other Nendoroids. That being Raftalia, Alicia, um, and, sorry, Alyssa, <clears throat> and uh, Nanachi, who I absolutely adore these three. They're three of my favorite characters from three very awesome series that I love a lot. So I just had to pick up their Nendroids. I really want to get Raftalia's um, Pulchera figures, the child one and the adult one eventually. I actually had the adult one on pre-order. And then <laughs> uh, my car broke down around the time when it was supposed to come out. And I had to cancel. And thankfully Amy Amy was very understanding and allowed me to cancel. Uh, so moving on, we got some manga. And then we got... This figure over here, which is my Sonico figure. I only have two Sonico figures. There's a one up for pre-order now that I'm tempted to get, but I got too much on pre-order and I'm trying to cut back a bit. So it's going to have to be something I'm probably going to pick up at a con eventually. But this one I got at my local anime store. Had to get her because she's just too cute and it was cheap and I really wanted to support them because it was the day they opened up after um, being closed down for so long due to the virus. And... Uh, 
yeah, I just had to get it. <laughs> it was this one and my Ghidorah figure that I had to get, which we'll get to Ghidorah later. <clears throat> and, uh, never been a super big fan of Sonico, but my niece adores this. She loves mermaids, and every time she comes over, she grabs it and holds it and everything. She's five. Um, I, I know people are going to be like, ah, what are you letting her? No, I don't mind. It's a $20 figure, um... And she loves mermaids, and it makes her happy. I told her it's a perfect time to teach her how to handle uh, fragile stuff. So I've been teaching her, hey, you got to be careful with it. It's not a toy. So she just holds it and caresses it. It's so cute. <laughs> she told me to get more. Uh, she told me to get more mermaids and get more pink hair characters because she loves pink. You know, she's a pretty standard five-year-old girl. <clears throat> Moving on down here. I have a figure that I wanted to show off, but I had to cover up. <laughs> Because this figure, it's another one from a series similar to uh, Lily over here. This is uh, Twiska, or Ziska as the box on it says for some reason, from Brandish. Uh, Brandish is one of my favorite off-brand um, mangas. I don't know how to describe it without YouTube yelling at me. Um, but anyways, uh, Twiska, she's the main character, and she's an amazing character. Uh, Brandish is like one of those few um, off-brand series, if you know what I mean, that I actually like recommend reading for the story. It's actually got a pretty good one, pretty good characters and development and stuff. And when I found out that there was a figure, I just had to get it, and it's dirt cheap. This thing is 10 years old, and it's got great paint, great uh, detailing and everything. Obviously, though, I can't show you most of it, mostly because uh, she has one of her chests hanging out and I can't cover it up. And she also uh, is have she, legs spread open and her fingers are down there, so I can't really, <laughs> I had to cover her up. But I still want to talk about her. She also has her little uh, minion here. I think Nin, uh, what was the name? Ninren, Nin, I can't remember, I can't remember her name. I can't remember her minion's little name. I, I, it's escaping me. On to the manga I got over here. We got How Not Summon a Demon Lord. I love that series. Can't wait for season two. I've done a whole video talking about it. Kaiju Girl Kara Malice. Amazing. Amaz I don't really particularly care for Shoujo too much, but it's amazing. Please read it. It's an awesome. Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. I have... Uh, one through nine for the manga, and then I think I have everything released for both spin-off series so far. Uh, Zero's Familiar, I really need to get around to reading it all the way through, and also watching the anime. I actually was a big fan of season one back in the day, but I never got around to watching seasons two through, like, like five. Uh, I forget how many seasons it got. Uh, purely because there's no dub, and the dub for season one was really good. And they never dubbed seasons two and the remainder, uh, because, well, uh, I think it was Jenny on, they closed down, and that really sucks. And then we got my Made in Abyss, uh, books. I love Made in Abyss. It's my favorite anime. It's one of my favorite mangas. Uh, probably gonna be my favorite manga, provided the series ends right. I don't know how they're gonna end it. It's gonna be very interesting watching it uh, come to its closer. Uh, which, we have no idea how long that's going to take. It's probably going gonna, gonna to be 10 years at the rate that the author is going. <laughs> um, down here, we got a mess. Uh, just the remainder of my manga. I really need a new um, thing of shelves. And I am saving up for a new thing of shelves. It's going to go right over here where this mess is. and Because I found a nice pair of shelves. Well, pair of shelves. Nice thing of shelves that's going to go, fits right here just fine goes like super high up and it has like four or five shelves and then two drawers so it's gonna be awesome <laughs> i still need drawers so uh yeah oh um i know you guys don't really particularly care for well actually you might care i don't know if you care if you like anime you're gonna I mean, if you like my figures you're gonna like this so over here we got the rest of my anime collection high school of the deads limited edition uh cutie honey's limited edition Soccer Wars, still need to get around to watching that. I, Sentai Filmworks <laughs> is amazing. They, during the, um, during, like, all, they do all these sales and they put stuff dirt cheap. Like, I got most of this for under, like, 50 bucks during their winter sale. Uh, whenever it came to, whenever it came to, like, their, um, uh, uh their anime and everything. Uh, I got Cross Ange. I really need to get around to watching it, but I've heard it's really bad at the beginning, so I've been pushing it off. Armed Girls Machiavellism is actually pretty good. Princess Principles, like, right up there in, like, my top five. Uh, Foot Flappers, I'm still iffy on. I need to finish it. I'm on episode seven. 
Uh, Demon Lord Dante I picked up because it's like the prequel to uh, Devil Man. Need to get around to watching it eventually. <laughs> this is a pride and joy to me. This is the Black Rock Shooter TV anime limited release. We're going to get to the figure that it came with um, as well. That was the big reason why I got it, uh, but there was also all sorts of other goodies with it. Uh, I love Black Rock Shooter. I have two wall scrolls of her, so it's, if that's not obvious. Um, but I do absolutely love Black Rock Shooter. I really wish there was more media for her um, to be in. Uh, we got some stuff that's not anime back here, and also some other stuff that's not. Uh, this was actually, yeah, this is still in a ceram wrap. I got this for my birthday from one of my uncles, uh, the year that the Blu-ray for uh, Avatar came out. <laughs> I did not care for the movie, but my uncle thought I liked it, so he got me the movie's uh, collector's edition, and I never touched it. it <laughs> uh, let's see here. We got Dimension W, <clears throat> both uh, legendary Godzilla movies. I love Godzilla. Uh, I really want to get one of his Ice Age Arch figures eventually, but they're so big, and I don't have any room right now. Um, Deadpool, some old Transformers DVDs I had as a kid. The Crocodile Hunter. I was a big Steve Irwin fan as a kid, and I still, I miss him. <laughs> I always wanted to go and meet him, but I can't do that anymore. God dang it. Uh, got the Godzilla 96. I know people hate that movie, but it's the movie that got me into Godzilla. So, I I, I love it. I <laughs> uh, got the Transformers movies, at least two of them. I really want to get around to getting all of them. Except for maybe the last two or so. Uh, Star Wars, all the good ones. Cat Planet Cuties. I remember it being better when I was a kid. I I watched it twice over, once in the sub, once in the dub, um, and <laughs> I loved it to death. That I so much so that I gave it like a nine on my anime list, and then I went back and rewatched it, or just tried to. I couldn't get past the second episode. It was so bad. Why did I like it? Oh yeah, I know why. I know why. I was a stupid kid who just saw uh, anime tatas and thought, okay, this is good. Uh, and you thought never there was a, and you thought there is never a girl online. I've watched the first episode. It didn't hook me, but I'm gonna try again. I was watching it in the dub, and they did not put their good voice actors in it. <sighs> my dog is yelling at me again. She's at my door. The Killer Out of Space, a really good movie. Watch it. It's Lovecraft. I love Lovecraft. Of course, I'm gonna talk about it. Uh, Oni Eye is okay. It's funny at times, but it's not particularly great. Then you got Defrag. I love Defrag. I need to get around to watch, read in a manga because uh, I don't think we're ever going to get a season two, unfortunately. And Defrag was really good. So watch Defrag. <clears throat> then we got the big ones. Then we got the big ones. Oh boy. Okay, so first off, let's talk about these little guys here. Uh, these are the figures from the Tales of Hysteria limited edition. And there's not much else to really talk about them other than Mick Leo does not want to hold his staff ever. It just falls off like instantly. So I've given up on that. <laughs> and then we got the big ones. Oh boy. Okay, so which one should I talk about first? Uh, let's talk about Alisa. I love Alisa. And of course, I have her Nendoroid. I have another figure of her that's currently in my closet because I just don't have any room for it. And uh, she can't hold her God Arc anymore, so I stopped. Hell, I just put her in the, put her away. I'm probably gonna sell her later, which sucks. But I really do want to keep her. But I. Uh, and there's better Alyssa figures out there anyway. Anyway, so this one I did an opening for. I love Alyssa. I just had to get it. I uh, found it for pretty cheap on eBay. Could have gotten it cheaper elsewhere, but I didn't check my figure collection. Uh, and then we got my f second uh, bunny figure that I ever got. Good old Purple Heart. I'm waiting on Black Heart. She's one of the ones that's stuck in Japan right now, thanks to Corona. So, don't know when I'm going to get her, but Purple Heart, I love her. Uh, she's one of my favorite characters for Natunia, as I've said. So, of course, I had to get her. She's also my tallest figure. It's crazy. Back here, we got the Haruhi Bunny from... I forget who, uh, honestly. Uh, there's a whole bunch of Haruhi Bunnies. I've seen that the Freeing Bunny figures are actually pretty cheap for Haruhi. So, that's interesting, to say the least. Then we got Savaria's um, QS Bunny figure, which... Um, good old uh, Milam is getting one later on. I'm still waiting on Milam's uh, uh, 
freeing bunny figure, but also, I mean, QS bunny figure to go on sale. And if it's anything like the Silvaria bunny figure, it's going to be amazing because this is a really well detailed figure. I plan on doing a full review of it later. And then got some manga that I just got stacked up over here because I'm running out of room. Uh, then we got the No Game No Life bunnies, uh, Stephanie and Gibro. I do want to get Shiro eventually, but I'm pushing her off right now, partly due to a lack of space until I get new shelves, and also partly due to a lack of money. <laughs> so, a little bit of both. Um, got the Shimikaze uh, figure that came with the limited run games release of the collector's edition of Ashen Lane Crosslave, which is pretty cool. And then we got Nyaruko's bunny figure, which was the start of my bunny collection and the start of an unhealthy problem. Um, <laughs> uh, the bunny figures are truly... I never understood why they're so popular until I actually got Nyaruko and I have a problem now. I, I have way too many on order that I'm waiting on. <laughs> um, I actually had to cancel quite a few due to the virus and everything um, and uh, it just it's just getting annoying having to constantly wait so I'll get the ones that I'm still missing for my collection eventually that I really want uh, but yeah anyway so over here we got Ghidorah this is a minifigure I really do want to get his SHR figure eventually but it's I was unimpressed when I saw a review of it, so I just skipped out on it for now. Hopefully going to pick it up later. Um, got Raphalos over here. Raphalos, Raphalos. I love Monster Hunter. As you guys are going to... Come on, focus. There we go. Raphalos, Raphalos, however you pronounce it. Love them. <laughs> and then we got good old S from Blaze Blue. Uh, Central Fiction and the prequel series. Um, what was it called again? Uh... I forget. It's like a visual novel series, and I tried to get through it, but visual novels bore me to death, so I gave up on it. But I still love her design a lot. Absolutely adorable. Had to pick her up. And then, got some Kill a Kill posters. Skipping on over to the rest of my collection. Alrighty. Up here, we got some of my video game and manga. Well, my video game and... Um, yeah, mostly just my video game collections, the smaller ones at least. Then we got good old the Valkyria Chronicles 4 tank figure that came with the Valkyria Chronicles 4 limited edition. And then we got my other two Black Rock, well, two of my uh, remaining Black Rock shooter figures. Um, Black Rock Shooter and Den uh, Dev Deathmaster, I think is what her name is, uh, from the um, OVA movie thing that you, I don't even know what to call it, the like pilot for the TV show. There we go. Uh, pretty good figures, not a biggest fan of the pilot for the TV show. Uh, that's what I'm calling it at least because that's basically what it is. Um, it's okay as great visuals and art and everything, but horrible. It, they really could have gone an extra like hour. It's only it's like just under an hour long too. And then we got um, good old Blunt and Noir. These are both came in collector's editions as well as did Rachel over here. Uh, if you're wondering, this is dusty over here. I haven't had time to dust this area, um, so I really need to get around to it. If you're wondering about this big empty space, it's because these were where two of my melon figures were. And of course I moved them over there recently. Uh, so now I got room for more figures over here. So that's going to be good. Uh, going from the back, we got Saber. Uh, got Luger and Mila. And Luger and Mila, both from good old Tales of uh, Zillia uh, 1 and 2. We got the Elisa, uh, sorry, not Elisa, Asia figure that I love so much. Got my first ever figure that I got that wasn't from a collector's edition. This was my first ever figure that I got just by myself, well, by itself. And that is Black Rock Shooter's uh, Figma going off of her uh, video game design. Still love it. I still need to go around and beat in the video game. <laughs> I always get about halfway through and then I'm like, just forget about it. <laughs> Absolutely adorable figure. Uh, it's a bit uh, worse for the wear due to the dust. I was not very good about um, getting dust off of my figures back when I first started collecting. So there's some dust on her that's a bit harder to get off than normal. Then we got my... <laughs> so I kind of just threw them over here with my other stuff. Uh, this is my first ever Transformers toy from when I was a kid. And it's a uh, good old Optimus from Armada. I grew up on Armada. Can you blame me? 
I know Armada is like hated nowadays by the Transformers community alongside Energon and Cybertron. I don't get it. I grew up with them. I will defend them to my life. And then we got some of uh, the Otaku Box figures and stuff from that. Not the biggest fan of the quality, but hey, it's cool. Come on, focus over here. There we go. This little thing, uh, this little Miku figure, this is one of my first figures I ever got too. Uh, I've had it for so many years. It, it's also, again, has dust issues due to um, uh, it just being from when I was not taking care of my figures. Then we got the other two um, of my, uh, well, two more of my Black Rock Shooter figures. I believe this is also from the movie. Um, but, however, these were sold separate and stuff, so I got them. I, they were cheap, too, at the time. I don't know what they run for now, but they were, like, 20 bucks back then. So that was pretty cool. And they got a killer figure from Chaotic. This is a gift from a fan, so uh, thank you, dude. Down here, we got my Monster Hunter shelf. <laughs> uh, Norigante, Astalos, uh, Gamoth, Basil Geist, Raging Bracadillos, Tigrex, my first one, uh, Azur Raphalos, uh, my second one, who is leaning because he can't stick in his stand anymore. <laughs> and the stand just does not want to work with him anymore. We got good old uh, Dread King Rafalos, uh, Silverwind Ra uh, Nargakuga, Akantor, Ian Garuga, Zora Magdaros, Lava Zayoff, um, Gravios, sorry, Black Gravios, and then Bloodbath Diablos. I, how can I remember all the names of the Monster Hunter monsters and like half a Pokemon, but I can't remember simple things like what the Pythagorean Theorem is? Like, what the hell? Um, but, anyways, yeah. Not much else to say about it. I love Monster Hunter. Then down here, we got the rest and final of my collection. Going from the back, we got, uh, I believe, Snow White. Uh, or no, yeah, Snow White. Um, Sonico, this is a gift from my sister. She had it for a long time, but I think she got tired of her friends making comments about her having a figure of a character with well, exaggerated proportions, and she gave it to me instead. Android 18, I don't really particularly care for Dragon Ball, but Android 18 is amazing. <laughs> Kill the Kills, uh, good old uh, Satsuki. Um, I've had that figure for so long. I think I got her at my first ever anime convention. Silvaria, so um, the swimsuit one from a bath scene kind of thing going on. I need to like move her forward or find her a better spot. I'll probably put her up here, actually, I think about it. but Because I really want her to be seen a bit more, because... I absolutely love that figure. Then we got Reese from da Dancing All Night. Saber uh, from Fate CCC. Uh, that one was again from I think my first ever anime convention. Then we got the Parform Labrys. I don't particularly care for Parform. There's a few other Parform figures I've been tempted to get, but I don't particularly care for them. I really want to get the full body of Labrys eventually. Then we got... Um, that's not Miku herself. That is... Uh, Oh god, what's her name? The bigger sister to twins from uh <clears throat> good old uh Lucky Star. <laughs> I can't remember her name, it's escaping me. Oh Kagamine, I think is what her name is. Yeah, Kagamine is. Um yeah, so that's Kagamine cosplaying as uh Miku from I think one of the episodes, like the OVAs and stuff. I haven't ever finished Lucky Star, I need to get around to doing it, but oh well. Uh Charlotte, that's again one of my first figures I ever got. Uh, because I was super into Infinite Stratos back then. Not so much nowadays, but I need to get around to finishing it. Red from, uh, Transistor. This is a limited run, or at least they said it would be. From what I've seen, it's actually not. <laughs> uh, and Transistor is a beautiful game. I need to get around to finishing it one of these days. I've played like 10 minutes of it, and it was beautiful. And then I got bored. <laughs> but this was adorable, so I had to pick it up. Uh, then we got Racing Miku. Uh, we got good old um, Rias over here. I should have grabbed Akino when I, I got her because they had both. And I don't really particularly care for Akino compared to all the other characters from DXD. I, I don't know why. <laughs> I know that's like blasphemy to some people, but oh well. And so I picked up Rias. I didn't pick up Akino. Now I really want to have the set. And Akino is expensive uh, when today they probably weren't. <laughs> for the price that Akino goes for now, I could have got them both back then. And then we got Marie from Persona 4 Golden. I don't get the hate for her. I really don't. There's a lot of hate for her. And it's just a little bit overblown in my opinion. 
We got the Otaku Box G Brill. Uh, I've actually canceled my Otaku Box subscription, but I pick it up every now and then just to see if they've improved. They really haven't. Uh, we got Insane Black Rock Shooter from the Black Rock Shooter TV series, limited edition. Uh, then we got Nami from, I think, no, we know that's not Nami from One Piece. That's, uh, I don't know her name, but she's from Fairy Tale. She was in one of the Otaku boxes as well. And then we got Icaros over here. This is one of the first figures I ever got. And I am 99% sure it's a uh, bootleg. I got it for $20. I recently discovered that the actual official one of this is way more than that. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I am pretty sure it's a bootleg. I will probably um, do a video talking about bootlegs eventually to kind of show <clears throat> how to tell if you got a bootleg or not. Uh, so, yeah, because I've had a few bootlegs, it sucks, but, uh, there's not much you can do. I've actually thrown one out, because I was so mad about getting it by accident, and then the other I managed to get returned, and got my money back. Alrighty. <clears throat> Talking so much for so long. Anyways, guys, so that is all my figures that I have out and on display. I do have, as I said, two others. Actually, I already mentioned one, but I have two others that I have uh, currently in storage. I have the Winged Dragon of Ra toy figure. It's really, uh, it's really, it, yeah, it is more of a figure, but I guess it was marketed as a toy to, to American kids. But uh, I have that. Uh, it was released over here way back when I was a kid. I never got it until I got it at a convention recently, and it's amazing, but there's just no room for it. And I also have, as I said, the Elisa figure that I have currently in storage because I am just frustrated with it. I can't get her to hold on to her um, uh, blade anymore, which is really, really annoying. So I digress. That is everything, guys. That is my collection. Oh, I almost forgot. I got the Funko Pop Arduin figure and I got Unicron up here, but... I really need to clean up here. It's been pretty much just where I throw stuff that I don't know what to do with for the longest time. And I don't particularly care for Funko Pops, so of course I'd forget. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. What do you guys think of my collection? Uh, what are your guys' collections look like? And um, yeah, guys, thank you all. See you all later. Rate, comment, subscribe. And hope you guys enjoyed this video. And check out the next. Peace out.